Did you realize that cavities are the second most common disease worldwide? The number one disease is the common cold, but cavities come in number two. What is a cavity? Well, the root word for cavity means hole. There's a hole in your tooth. You're getting dental decay. In other words, the bone is dissolving and it's breaking down to the point where there's a hole in it. Now, what's unique about the teeth is that they're supposed to be indestructible. And you don't have cells that are constantly being replaced on this enamel, this outside of this tooth right here. They know this from looking at fossils. Certain skulls, the teeth are usually still there and uh, they're very indestructible. But there's one thing that will destroy them, and that is a certain type of bacteria. They've isolated Streptococcus mutants as being the main bacteria that apparently is causing these little holes. And you have a lot of friendly bacteria that are living in your mouth. As you consume sugar and other carbohydrates that can ferment, what happens is the population of this bacteria starts going higher and higher and higher until it hits a certain tipping point where it's now dominating. And when it ferments this sugar, it creates an acid which dissolves or demineralizes your bone, creating a hole. When you consume certain refined carbohydrates and sugar, you're feeding this microbe and you're getting the plaque forming bacteria, which is then causing decay because it's creating an acid. Of course, the solution to this is just to brush your teeth, right? And make sure that your toothpaste has fluoride and you drink water with fluoride and you're good to go, right? Well, here's the problem. We still have a problem with cavities. In fact, 90% of the population has cavities. Why? Well, when you look this up, they're really emphasizing this bacteria and that you have to scrub and keep your teeth clean and, uh, and make sure you're exposed to fluoride so you can kill these microbes. But what about the food? What about the, the fuel that they live on to create this whole thing? They're really not talking about this. This is omitted information, okay? The question is, why is this information omitted? Recently, there was some new information that gave some light on this topic. And there were certain documents found. Now, don't quote me in this, but I think it was in the basement of Harvard University's library. But it could have been in some other basement. But they found this interesting document it was actually by the sugar trade organization that was funded by the sugar industry. And this is what the document revealed, that the sugar industry paid off a key researcher from Harvard University 50 years ago to downplay the relationship between dietary sugar and heart disease and dietary sugar and cavities and put the blame on dietary fat. In fact, this study back then uh, did not reveal the source of the funding. Now we're still left with this idea that we just need to keep brushing and taking our fluoride to prevent the cavities when it's not working. In fact, there's a condition called fluorosis, okay? In fact, if you look this up, it'll say it's a cosmetic problem with the tooth, okay? Part of the tooth uh, turns like excessive white. It's like a, a bleaching effect. The truth is that when you expose a young child to too much fluoride, it can weaken the teeth. It can affect calcium metabolism in your body and give this appearance right here. But what's happening is the whole tooth is becoming weak itself. And apparently it's very, very common where there's 40 to 60% of the children actually have that condition. And it's actually quite interesting to me of how much corruption that's still going on with so-called science. Of course, uh, you know, science is a sacred cow. It's beyond criticism, it's beyond debate. But what about the massive corruption that's going on? There are so many uh, scientific concepts that end up being false 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 years later, unfortunately. So if you have kids or you're a kid watching this, just cut out the sugar, okay? And you'll cut out the cavities. Very, very simple. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar totally keto.
There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.